Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this simply supported beam. This simply supported beam has a length of 6 meter and it carries a uniformly varying load or we can say it carries a trapezoidal load. So the magnitude of the load starts from this point from the hinge support with a magnitude of 4 kN per meter and it increases with the length and the maximum magnitude of the load is 8 kN per meter. So there is a trapezoidal load acting on this beam. So we are going to find out the support reactions. Let's suppose this is support A and this is support B. So we are going to find out RA and RB. Now, in order to find out the support reactions, first we have to calculate the total amount of load acting on this beam. So it means we have to change, we have to transfer this uniformly varying load into a concentrated load. So there, this is the uniformly, uniformly varying load or we can say trapezoidal load. So we have to convert this load into a pointed load. So in order to do this, we have to make some changes in this load. Let's suppose we divide this load, this trapezoidal load into a tri rectangle and triangle. So, this one, this is the baseline between these two loads. So, this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle load, the below, and the above one is the triangle. So, we divide these two, we divide this load in order to have simplification. Now, to find out the total load, let's suppose the rectangle load, first we want to find out the rectangle load and then we will find out the triangle load and then we will add this load in order to find out the total concentrated load. So the concentrated load will act at the centroid of this load. The total pointed load or concentrated load will act at this centroid. Now to find out this pointed or concentrated load, this First we find out the area of the rectangle, this is a rectangle, this below one is a rectangle, so we can find out the area by multiplying the base into height. So A1 area will be equal to base is 6 meter is the length and height of this rectangle is 4 meter, 4 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled, so we got A1 of 24 kN. So this is the load from the rectangular load. Now we will find the load, the area of this triangle. This is the base of the triangle and this is the height of the triangle. So the height will be 8 is the total from this point up to the bottom. This is 8. So from this point up to this point, it will be 8 minus 4. So it will be 4. So the base is 6. And height is 4. So the area of this triangle will be half base into height. So A2 will be half base is 6 meter, height is 4 kilonewton per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled. So we got here 12 kilonewton. So this is A2. This is the load from the triangle. So now we will add these two loads in order to find the total load. So it will be A, the total area will be equal to the A1 plus A2 or we can say 24 plus 12. We got total area of 36 kN. The total area means the total pointed load. The total pointed load. So this is the magnitude of the total load which is 36 kN. Now we convert the uniformly varying load into the pointed or concentrated load and it will act at a distance of some moment arm. It will have some centroid, centroidal distance from this point up to this point. We will need this distance in order to find out the moment caused by this force. Now the next step will be to find out this x bar. There is a centroid x bar. To find out this x bar, we can use this formula 
for the centroid x bar is equal to the summation of x i if i divided by summation of if i so now in this case x is the centroid of each shape now this is a rectangle so it will have own centroid the rectangle have the centroid it will act at this distance so it will be half of six this is the centroid for this rectangle so rectangle will be x1 it will be equal to the 6 divided by 2 this is the centroid for the rectangle now to find out the centroid for the triangle this is a triangle so its centroid will be somewhere here this was x1 before this was x1 so this was for rectangle and now this one is for the x2 so x2 is the centroid for the triangle so it is two third of length and length is six so two third of six so we got x2 comes out to be four meter so this is the centroid for the triangle this is a triangle if we have this triangle let's suppose so the centroid if this is the total length l so the centroid will always be two third of l and this will be one third of L. So that's why I use two third of L here, where L is six meter. So this is the X2, the centroid of the triangle. Now to find out the main centroid of this trapezoid, so we will use this formula. Now, so X bar will be equal to the X1, F1. X1 means the centroid, the first centroid for the rectangle, which is three meter, X1, into f1 plus x2 into f2 divided by the f1 plus f2 so so x bar will be x1 is 3 meter so f1 is the load of the rectangle which is 24 plus x2 is the centroid of the triangle 4 multiply with the load of the triangle which is 12 divided by the f1 plus f2 24 plus 12 so by adding and multiplying this, I got 3.33 meter. So this is the x bar. So x bar is equal to the 3.33 meter. So we also found out the centroid for this pointed load. Now we can use this equation. Then let's suppose summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. And clockwise moment is taken as positive, And the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now the RB will create moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. It will create anti-clockwise moment. So it will be taken as negative. RB multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this B point to A which is 6 meter. And then the second moment caused by this load which is 36 kN and this creates the low moment in the clockwise direction about point A. So it will be taken as positive. 36 is the load. Multiply with the moment arm. The moment arm is x bar. It means 3.33. So summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. So now 6RB will be equal to the, if we shift this into the right side, we get 119.88. So RB comes out to be, if we divide this by 6, so RB comes out to be 19.9 kilonewton. So RB here comes out to be 19.9 kilonewton. Now we have to find out the RA, the support reactions at point A. So RA we can find out by using equilibrium equation of summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. And let's suppose the upper force is taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So RA is acting upward, RB is also acting upward. So RA plus RB and this load is acting downward minus 36. Summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. So RA comes out to be 36 minus RB. So RA comes out to be 36 minus 19.9 kN because RB is 19.9. So RA is 
16.0 kilonewton. So this is the reaction at the support A, 16.0 kilonewton. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions when there is a trapezoidal load. First you have to find out the total amount of load acting and then you have to find out the moment arm for the centroidal load. And then you can use the summation moment formula in order to find out the one support reactions and then using this equation in order to find out the second support reactions. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.